In this screencast, I'm going to continue with the review of sets, and we're going to talk about operations on sets, Venn diagrams, and the Cartesian product of two sets. So let's get started. The intersection of two sets, it's an operation. It takes, it's a binary operation. It takes the sets A and B, and we write it with this upside down U. And basically, what is that? That's the set of points that are in A and in B. So, if in the picture, the Venn diagram of this, which I'm sure most of you have seen Venn diagrams before, we draw a picture, uh, one of these sets it represents A, the other one represents B, and the intersection are the elements that are common to A and B. We say A and B are disjoint, that's a very important situation, if A intersection B equals the empty set. In other words, they don't have any points in common. A union B is even easier. It's the set of points that are in A or in B. So it's the set of points either in A or in B. And the Venn diagram picture of that is like this. We've got all the points in A. We've got all the points in B. And A union B is those two together. The final two operations I want to talk about. The first one is a unary operation. It takes the complement of A. It's a set of all points that are in the universe, but they're not in A. So usually people informally say it's a set of all points not in A, or the set of all points outside of A, or the set of all elements not in A. And again, the picture just looks like this. If this set here is A, then the complement of A is all the points that are not in A. Slightly more complicated is the difference or the relative complement. And that is a binary operator. It takes two sets, and we talk about A minus B, or the difference of A and B. And that's a set of all points that are in B, and this should read not in A. It's a typo, not in A. And that's usually or that's equal to B intersection, the complement of A. So in this picture, right, it's a set of all points in B, which would be all that, but excluding the points in A. So excluding the points in A. So B minus A complement is this shaded version over here. A very important operator <coughs> takes two sets, it's called the Cartesian product, it takes two sets and creates a brand new set. And the way it does this is it looks at a set of what are called ordered pairs. So first I need to tell you what an ordered pair is. An ordinary pair that you'd find in a set, right, is, does, order is not important. So in other words, the set A comma B is the same as the set B comma A. But the order is going to be relevant in a lot of situations, and so we call it an ordered pair, and we represent that as A comma B. And then, just this normal, like the squiggly parentheses, they're just the normal rounded parentheses, we say that A comma B is not equal to B comma A, because their order is important, unless A and B are the same. So another way to say this is two ordered pairs are the same, if and only if the first elements are the same and the second elements are the same. Then we can define the Cartesian product to be the set of all ordered pairs where the first entry in the ordered pair comes from A and the second entry comes from B. Or said another way, A cross B or A Cartesian B product B, both way are both ways of saying that is equal to the set ordered pairs A comma B where A is in A and B is in B. You're already familiar with this um, when you talk about the Cartesian plane that you learned about in, ge in geometry and trigonometry and high school algebra. So you've got a plane and in that particular plane it's the real numbers cross the real numbers and it's important what order the numbers are in, right? The first number is the x-coordinate, and the second number is the y-coordinate. So just a quick example here. 
just to illustrate the point, reinforce it, if A is equal to set A comma B comma C and B is equal to set containing X and Y, then A cross B is the set of ordered pairs AX, AY, BX, BY, CX, CY. So all the first elements come from A, all the second elements come from B. Just to contrast, if we look at B cross A, now all the first elements are coming from B, but the second elements are coming from the set A. So, a question for you to think about real quick. What is the cardinality of A cross B in this particular situation? The cardinality of A was 3, cardinality of B is 2. What's the cardinality of A cross B? Finally, here are some questions for you to think about. Make sure you understand these uh, before class. These will make sure that reinforce that your memory of sets is correct and that you've absorbed what we've been talking about here. Basically, there are a bunch of questions about cardinality of different sets. And if you have trouble with these, just draw a Venn diagram and do some examples.